what are you worrying about? So today we're going to talk about whether it's biblical to um, have worry in your life or how to deal with worry and, and how it affects uh, us from day to day. So my name is Heidi Cole. Each morning I read a short daily devotional to encourage you in God's truth and His Word. My heart is truly for that busy mom, busy woman who doesn't have time each day to turn her focal point back to God. I've been there. Do not worry about tomorrow. This is not a suggestion, but a command. I divided time into days and nights so that you would have manageable portions of life to handle. My grace is sufficient for you but its sufficiency is for only one day at a time. When you worry about the future, you heap day upon day of troubles into your flimsy frame. You stagger under the heavy load, which I never intended for you to carry. Throw off this oppressive burden with one quick thrust of trust. Anxious thoughts meander about and crisscross in your brain but trusting me brings, direct, brings, brings you directly to my presence. As you thus affirm your faith, shackles of worry fall off instantly. Enjoy my presence continually by trusting me at all times. Okay, in Matthew 6, verse 24, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. In 2 Corinthians 12, 9, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. And Psalm 62, verse 8, Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. So what are you worrying about? I love here in the beginning how it starts off with do not worry about tomorrow this is not a suggestion but a command I also love how it's talk, talking about how it divides the day up into portions manageable, manageable portions so that we can handle life um, God never intended us to worry about the future and he doesn't really want us to worry but uh, he wants us to take one day at a time. And we keep seeing this day after day as we go through a lot of these devotionals. He talks about don't look to the future, look to what's going on now. And um, so uh, tell me, are you worrying about the future? I mean, put an emoji in the comments and um, I'm there with you. I've got a lot going on, a lot on my plate right now. And um, some unknowns, but I can also remember like um, years ago when we were, we had lost a business and we were getting out of that, just the worry of the unknown. It was something that we had built and put our heart into and we didn't know what our future was. And I can tell you that I didn't have, I wasn't perfect in not worrying about what was going to happen, but you know what? God provided and it took a little while because God's time is not our time, but um, eventually he brought me into um, another area uh, of a business sorry my, do my dog decided she wanted to get up here um, <laughs> but we, we all worry we're human so but God tells us here that our his grace is sufficient for us so trust him and he brings you directly into his presence but into God's presence uh, by just trusting him so from day to day don't put those worries and worry about the future just think about the day and that's why God portions the day out so that we can handle it with our frail bodies so I hope that you have found value in this and if you have then share it with someone you know and if I can pray for you I would love to um, pray for you whatever your worries are um, give them to a friend so they can um, pray for you with them Thanks and have a blessed day.